Hi, it's Jamie with Jamie's Art Solid Carts, and welcome to my she shed. Let's see what we can find in here to do today. to bring another project to you today. We're going to etch on glass. Uh, I have a few different ways I want to try it. So we'll have our, our, our armor all, our armor, excuse me, etch cream. I've got some mugs, some wine glasses, different styles. scissors, an old paintbrush, a pair of gloves, and then instead of cutting out on my Cricut, I had um, this set of letters that I got at a local craft store. So I'm going to try using these. I have an idea that I want to try with these. So to begin with, I'm going to prep this mug. I'm going to, this is one of my experiments. I'm going to try to remove this and then etch on top of it. Alright, let's get everything out of our way and we can get started. Next you want to cut out your letters that you want to use. So I have all the letters applied to the to the glassware. Uh, a trick that I did find uh, in doing that is that if you uh, look through on the clear glass, you can see if there's any bubbles, and then you can press those out. Uh, simple enough. And uh, I just burnished with the ones that I couldn't see through. I just burnished with the towel um, an extra time. So. 
what the directions say is to apply this liberally. So what we'll do, um, I'm out in my she shed because of the smell of this stuff. It's pretty intense. But you just basically apply it all around this edge first. And I've got another little thing that I saw Mame do on one of hers videos that I liked that gave it an extra little pump to it. Try to go both ways to help you get a crisp line.
had our cream sitting on there for the the right amount of time and I ooh, gloved up so now the next step will be to uh, wipe off this here in the center and then take them over and wash them Alright, I'll get this taken care of and then I will we'll do the big reveal. Well, you you do know you'll have to take your sticker off. Um, okay, so here we are with our final product. Once again, this was the etching crane that I used. Here's our stemware. And then our dots on the bottom. Hopefully you can see that. The stemware came out well. I might use a different design next time. for my first attempt on trying to etch on glass for the first time. I think it looks, it looks uh, acceptable. I did learn a few things along the way that we'll go over. But here are the, the stemware. So this was just etching cream and some decal stickers. Once again, it was this with just some wall decal stickers from my uh, local craft store. So those were the wine glasses. So this is what it comes out like. I'm not sure if you can even see that on camera. very faint. I uh, was expecting a little more from the mugs. That one's a little better. And then this is the one where I removed the label on the back so that turned out really well. Um, and there's the front. So once again, you know, um, what did I learn from this experiment? So what I learned was I probably won't do colored anything until I research that a little bit better. I probably would do stemware again uh, with a different design. You do have to be careful like on this, on this flute. It wouldn't really hold the decals that I had. So size does matter. And then I had this other style. It was kind of short. Definitely wouldn't fit. I could make something on the Cricut for both of these items. Um, sharp scissors are important that I learned on this to get around the letters. Uh, the two scrapers that come with the kit worked well. Uh, but I would definitely do wine glasses again on clear glass, but I would not necessarily do uh, a colored mug or colored glassware until I uh, researched the, the properties of this etching cream a little bit more. But so while I'm not pleased with all of it, I do believe some of them will make nice gifts, uh, especially paired with a nice bottle of wine. Uh, and who knows? put a Starbucks card in there and um, that person will probably like that mug as well. So uh, 
I would recommend this this etching cream. I think the cream did well. I think uh, it was the operator, not the product. So I need to learn a little more. Um, but out of the gate, didn't come out too too awful. All right, I will have another project for you in just the next few days, and I'll be sharing that on YouTube. So until next time, happy crafting.